everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Bravely Default. In the last episode, we got the rainbow thread. So we're ready to get out of this. This dungeon, what does the remedy do? A powder medicine that contains medicine, status alignments. Okay, cures whatever. Okay, let's use a teleport stone. Just so we can get out of here and we don't have to uh, go back through the cave because that would be annoying. Um, okay, so we're in the start of the cave takes us to the front of the cave and now we can just leave the cave yay all right so we have to go back to the old guy so let's follow this path all the way back to the old guy um ah oh no i'm getting attacked that's all right oh they're bats yay bats um we gotta oh gosh i forgot that my hp was low oh well it it should be fine it should be just fine. Um, let's go ahead and I will cure everyone like that. Um, and I will have him cure everyone as well. Just for the heck of it. Just because I can. <laughs> Here we go. Cure. <laughs> let's be cool and cure everyone with magic. Woohoo. Okay, and... Um, Let's get rid of this guy here because he is a he is a bat. I'm surprised he's still alive, to be honest with you. Okay, he's still not dead. Brave, brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Attack. Brave, brave, brave. Attack, 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 attack. Attack. Okay, so this should be the end of the bat's life. Yeah, that's the end of the bat's life. Anyways, we got the rainbow thread. Um, so now we just have to take it back to the sage so that he can make our little cloth thing. Um, for Agnes, so that she can help the wind crystal not be darkened anymore. Those stupid cat things, oh my gosh. It's a greater cat thing. Let's go ahead and try to kill it. Um, default, let's brave you out. We'll use some blizzard magic here a couple times. There we go. Yay, they're weak to magic. That's awesome. And now they're all dead. That's even better. Heck yes. Alright. Awesome. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's keep going. The sage's house is literally right here. So we are we are there. We are here, man! Sage. Sage guy. I have the thread. I have it. Ah, back in one piece, are you? Very impressive. Oh, thank you very much. Then you did know. A word of warning might have helped you, old lech. It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. I bet. I believe you were in a hurry. I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then, hmm? Oh, so we gotta stay the night again? Okay, it's gonna take him a whole night to make it. I guess that's reasonable. Uh-oh. Agnes? Uh-oh. What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir? Do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. I remember it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. In dark times, I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Someday it may serve you better still. And the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh, little Olivia. Yes, she serves now as the Vestal of Water. Sir, have you heard anything of her? Is she safe? 
The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear... I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. I need to know if Olivia is safe, but I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can say is that she's not come to this place. So are we gonna have to visit like all of the temples? I foresee that being a thing. I see. Tell me, child, would you care to share what else is on your mind? <sighs> I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence. Sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside. Know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy. Its practices are all but forgotten. Yet even still, they regard the crystals and the vestals who tend them with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. Therein lies the path the vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. Compared to the mother vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes pour into me, whether in expectation or disappointment, the weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. The hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight is a noble one, just and right, and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path. Guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the Crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestals' words doubly so. They are a force capable of driving man to action, of sustaining him in times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. The world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Hope? Huh? You sound like Tis. Oh? Already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> You'll reach them, child. Speak and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. Tis has been eavesdropping this entire time. Okay. Alright, so that was some speech. She apparently does not have much faith in herself as a person or a vestal. Oh, you look marvelous! Hmm, I knew it. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, Agnes. Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. But 
Thank you. Phew. <laughs> A night's work feels like seven at my age. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. Oh? If you really cared to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. Of course. Oh, you're shameless. Yeah, really, I agree with India. Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Garb? No! It's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toad. What? Unacceptable. <laughs> I do love a girl with a firm touch. Come back any time you need of me. I'll do all I'm able. Thank you, Sage. Now, back to the temple. All right, so now we've got to go all the way back to the temple. Well, it looks like there's a party chat thing. I guess I should go ahead and see. Ring of bells. Reconsonance. Just a moment, Tiz. Huh? What is it? Huh? Something wrong? Nothing at all. This is a matter between men, my dear. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, where was I? Ah, Tiz. Last night, I chanced to waken and noticed you and Agnes were absent from your beds. What's more, you took your time coming back. Anything you'd care to confess, old chap? Just what trouble does a stick in the mud like you get up to? What? That's none of your business. Oh, come on. Out with it. All of it. Every last sordid, juicy, scandalous morsel <laughs> out. I woke up and saw she wasn't in her bed. Yes, yes, then what? I got out of bed and went to look for her. Right, right, sensible enough. Get on, get to the good point. I heard a sewing machine running, so I went to the sages' workplace um, and found them talking. What? Talk about a turn for the boring. He listened to what was on her mind and offered her some advice. I promised myself I'd do a better job of helping her too. Yes, alright. So is that it then? Uh, that's it. What did you expect? We were only gone maybe 15 minutes. And besides, why were you up? Me? Er, you know. Anyway, I nodded off after a few minutes of watching Idea sleep. Yeah. Alright, enough whispering. Just what is it, you two? Nothing at all. As I said, eh, tis? Ha ha ha. That's terrible. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back on our airship and go back towards the temple. Gotta get on the airship. Gotta go to the temple. Fly away across the sea. To and chime again. Here we go. Right here. here we go. Get off the airship. Gotta go all the way back down here towards the temple. That's ridiculous. Oh wait, there's an update for the village. It looks like let's go in here first. Special move shop has been completed. Um, the special moves available are Moonbeam, Grand Strike, and Moon Shadow. I got some gifts from the trader. Um, river parts shop. Special move parts. Huh. What else can we build? We can build an accessory shop. A weapon shop. A hill parts shop? Let's build a weapon shop. Oh no, I can't do that. I have to actually clear the area first. Um, well I guess we could go ahead and clear this boulder. Yeah. Here we go, it's gonna take an hour and 15 minutes to clear the boulder. Alright, so let's keep heading towards the temple. It's not too far, I guess. It's obviously farther than I want to walk, I just went the wrong way. Gosh darn it, I went the wrong way. Man, why me? It's okay, let's get rid of these snakes and stuff and this... This electro lantern, that's what it is. That's what it's called. Um, black magic, let's use blizzard on all of them. Wow, one hit KOs. That's amazing. I'm very proud of that. Wow. That's awesome. All because Tiz is overpowered. He is OP, man. OP. 
Alright, here is the temple. I found the temple. Rawr. Lucky for us, there is a shortcut back up to the top of it. So that is, that is all good. All good, all good, all good. First things first, though, I want to save our game again real quick. My f AI friend has been updated. Friend bot's data has been updated. Oh, cool. Hard at work, I see. Save, I'd like to save my game. Yes, please save my game. Thank you so much for saving my game. I appreciate you saving my game. Alright, let's go ahead and go inside. No! Another encounter. Darn it. Oh, it's just a golem. It's okay. Brave, brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Brave, brave, brave. Attack, 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 attack. Default. Uh, we'll default you as well. Bam! Good job. We are doing very well. Alright, so let's go ahead and head inside here. And get on with this little ritual. The air's grown even more stagnant. It feels almost malicious. I might be sick. Wait, something's here. <gasps> no! A monster's taken hold of the crystal! Orthros! Orthros? The beast from the scriptures? Bringer of doom. Oh wow. Now what? It stands between us and the crystal's awakening. Then I don't suppose we've much choice. Another boss fight, man. Oh boy. It's a two-headed dragon. Or a dog. It's a two-headed dog? What? That's a two-headed dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, default. Um, default. I guess we're just gonna default and see what it does. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do not approve of this. Cure everyone. Cure everyone. Default. Crap. Oh, yes. Get them. Get them. Get them heals up, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess attack. Yeah, okay, we're gonna default you. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna use some more curing. Yeah, use some more curing. Um, we're gonna use white magic. And then we're gonna use black magic. It looks like one is a blizzard. And one is fire. So let's use blizzard on the... Actually, no. Nope, we should... Focus on one first. Let's use thunder on the water one. Ow. This is terrible. Okay, default. Brave, brave, brave. Um, let's use a special attack. Maximum draw. And then let's attack. 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 I need to... Need to use some cure magic here. Um, and then you can default. See what happens. Time to settle this. Let's see what happens, man. Bam. I almost did a thousand. That's pretty good. Did 800 over 800. That's pretty good. Pretty awesome. Cure. Ow. Okay. Um, default. Uh, default. Let's use some more white magic here. Brave, brave. Let's use thunder on the icy head a couple times. Go! Yeah! Ow. Woo! Okay, um, brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Default. Brave, we're gonna use cure on yourself and then cure on everyone. And then you can default, alright. Ow. Ow! Oh no, Agnes is dead. That's not good. Okay, default. Brave, brave. Attack, attack. Attack. Uh, brave. We're gonna use a phoenix down on ring a bell. And then we're gonna use white magic. On everyone. Ow. 
Wait, I can't use a phoenix down? Oh, oh my goodness! Um, I'm in quite a pickle here. I'm in a pickle. I don't. I don't know what to do. Um. Need you to be brave and nope. I need you to use a high potion on yourself. Yep, go. Ow, there we go. I don't understand why he couldn't have. Damn it! This is not very good. Phoenix down. Okay, hang on. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a Phoenix down on Anyace. Then we're gonna use a high potion on Anyace. Then I'm gonna use a regular potion on herself. And then we're gonna use a special move. And you are going to use a potion on yourself. There you go. Okay, I died. Okay, that is not good. I will I will try again. I can't believe I died. That's terrible. I was doing so well, or I thought I was doing so well. That was awful. Ugh. Aggravating. Aggravating. The ears grow I want to skip tiny. this. I can't skip it. That's dumb. I've already seen it. I want to skip it. Now what? It stands. Then I don't. We don't have a choice. Attack. Okay. So. Okay. Alright. Default. De default. Um. They were gonna use white magic. We're just gonna start healing all of a sudden. Default. Go. Okay. Alright. Um. So far, so good. Default. Default. Attack. Uh. No, no, no. Don't attack. Abilities, white magic, cure, everyone. Default, go. Oh, no! Why? This is so stupid. I'm gonna use a phoenix down, I guess. This is really dumb. Okay, tiz, tiz, tiz. Um, brave, brave. I'm gonna use a special. Attack, maximum draw. I'm gonna summon a freaking friend here. Who is the most powerful? Ah! Isaac! There you go. Um, and then I'm going to use an attack. And then we're gonna have him. We're gonna have him uh, be brave. And we're gonna use some white magic on everyone. White magic. Um, white magic. Go. Do that. Let's see how well this works out. 837 damage, that's not bad. Good job. I'm gonna summon a friend here who's gonna do a bunch of damage for us. Isaac, you're awesome! Thank you so much! Bam! 3820, oh my goodness. Yeah! Oh my god. Okay, um, that's not very good. Okay, now I have to revive everyone, because I don't have a choice. Figures! Freaking figures. Um, I guess I will, um, summon another friend. Who we got, who we got, who we got, who we got? Can't use Isaac, already use Isaac. Can't use you, I've already used you. Um, Tubby here, there you go. Now hopefully you guys don't die before the next turn, though it's very probable that you will. You all got 200 HP and that's it, and not very good. Come on man, if we could just knock out one of these dragon heads, I would feel so much better. I would feel so much better. Take that. Oh! We killed one of the dragon heads! Yes, that is fine. I am okay with that. Brave. I'm gonna use a phoenix down on a Dia. 
And then we're gonna use white magic here. All allies. Okay. Um, you can use your special attack. There we go. Enough. Bam! Yeah, 1708. That's amazing. That's great. Awesome. Ow. 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 Why did he get to go three times? Okay, items. Phoenix down. Gotta get Ring a Bell back up. Another Phoenix down. Gotta get Tiz back up. Um, Phoenix down. Idea. White magic. Cure. All allies. I go first. Bam. Okay. Brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Go. Okay, um. Let's use a high potion. Yeah, let's use a high potion. And then you, I want you to use some white magic. Okay, default. Um, let's use some more white magic here. Okay, default. Default. Use some white magic. Default. Damn it, she died again. It's terrible. Okay, default. Default. Brave. We're gonna use a phoenix down. And we're gonna use white magic on everyone. Okay. Brave, brave, brave. Well, she has a special attack. Let's use her special attack. Attack, attack, attack. Brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Brave. White magic, cure. White magic, cure. Then let's use... Let's use some blizzard, man. We're gonna use a blizzard attack. Ah, weak point. Moon shadow! 468? That's not bad. Not as good as I thought it would be. Definitely not as good as I thought it would be. But that is okay. Okay, default, default. Oh, Anya says a special. I don't need her special yet, though. Okay, brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Default. Um... Okay, he's about to attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a cure default. There we go. <laughs> okay, default. Brave, brave, brave. Attack, attack, attack. Attack. White magic. Okay, brave, brave, brave. We're gonna use black magic blizzard because it's his weak point. Yes, there you go. Yes, I win. Pretty awesome. Oh, we're level 20. It's amazing. Everyone is level 20. Oh, look at that. A bomb fragment? What? An Antarctic... An Antarctic wind. Antarctic... Antarctic wind! Oh! Oh. <laughs> I feel dumb. Okay. Alright. It's over. Somehow. Just how long has that thing been inside the crystal? There is no telling how long it's been inside the crystal. The details can wait. First comes the rite of awakening. I'll second that. I'm in no state to deal with any of that beast's friends right now. Hurry, Agnes! You need to get ready! Right. I'm ready, Eri. Then let's review how the rite works one last time. I'm to focus my prayers on the crystal, yes? Right. That will naturally align your breathing with the crystal's rhythm. Your life force will stir it awake. That will return the crystal to its normal state. But you mustn't stop there. Keep praying! If you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point, then release that energy all at once, its effects will spread far and wide. There are a few important things to remember, though. First, 
You were not to stop until I say. The flow of energy into the crystal could reverse. At its worst, that could be fatal. Second, once I give the signal, you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. That's not good. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. The right place is a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what. What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Anyas? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready. I'm ready. Press X. Oh, I'm pressing X. Pressing, 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 pressing. Oh, I'm still pressing it. Oh, I have to actually open the crystal. This is kind of cool. Look at it, guys. It's glowing. Okay, I'm pressing. I'm I'm pressing X. More. Keep going. I'm going. Kaboom! It's still not enough. You can do this. Every time Joey, I press this button, my finger's getting tired, man. Look how shiny it is! Did it work? The Rite of Awakening was a great success! You were amazing, Agnes! I never dreamed it'd go this well! Oh, good. Now the wind should... return. That was supposed to happen then? My heart nearly stopped. I thought something had gone wrong and the whole thing was exploding. I'll bet they saw that flash from Anshine. That light. I feel as if I've seen that light before. Your memories return? No, just... I can't see it clearly. But I remember a hand reaching out through the light. A woman's hand. There he goes again. Are you all right, Agnes? Anything we can do? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, look, look! One of the gems on my brooch is shining! Oh, so yeah, I was right. I bet you anything you have to get the other ones to make her brooch shine. That's proof of the wind crystal's release! Then the entire brooch will look like that? Once we've finished with all four crystals? That's right! Only three to go! Three more times. Well, for now, let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right? Alright, your support ability cost limit has increased by one. Okay, cool. There's a party chat. Party chat, party chat, party chat. Proof! Not promises. The wind ought now return. I'm sure the people of Anchheim will be happy. Yes, with the wind return, the kingdom can go back to its former peaceful ways. Let's hurry back and report. I want to see that lousy king squirm. I'm still mad at what he did to you before, Agnes. Mark my words, he's black as tar. You agree with me, don't you? You have to. Not all of us are so set on seeing the world in terms of black and white, Idea. Our task was to awaken the wind crystal, and so we have. It has nothing to do with making anyone squirm. Just watch, though. I bet he'll try to make everyone work just as hard, even with the wind back. What? But that's not... Still, isn't it better if we head off, or if we head him off before he gets the chance? Head him off how? Step one is making it darn clear that it was Anya's that brought the wind back. And how do we do that? Talk is cheap. We show them proof. Ah! Oh, right. The crystal. 
That's beautiful. That really is. That is absolutely beautiful. Alright, so let's go out here and save our game again. Need to save my game. I'm also going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. If you guys would like to support me, if you guys would like to see more of Bravely Default, be sure to leave a like and a comment in the section below. Both of those things really do help me and I really do appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to be returning to Ann Chime to report back to the king. So, until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more of Bravely Default in the very near future. Bye, guys!